You know, people ask you when you're growing up, what do you want to be? Oh, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a school teacher. I want to be an auto mechanic. You know, whatever it is that's honorable. I believe that that's the wrong question. It doesn't really matter what you want to be as long as it's honest and honorable. The more important question is who do you want to be? And that is who you are as a person, as a member of society, as a father or a husband, a wife or a mother, as a worker uh, in whatever company. That's the critical question. Who do you want to be? And that's a message that we try to teach these young men uh, year after year. And I'd like to think that we have some success in that. Who do you want to be is much more important than what do you want to be. I've learned so many things for my 33, now going on 34 years of coaching. I have been so blessed. I have been so uplifted. I have been taught by these players and the, the lessons of life. One of the most important lessons of life I've ever had and I pass on to every group I have an opportunity to speak to is this, don't play with snakes. Now let me tell you what I mean. Uh, some years ago I had a player's name is Mike and this happened the summer between his ninth and 10th grade year. He walks out in his garage, he sees a snake, just kind of a small snake. He gets up closer, it's a rattlesnake. You know, he's got a couple of baby little rattlers. Well, he, you know, he's handled snakes before, he's handled animals, and he, he you know, gets in a position where he's able to pick it up. And he said he held it by the neck. Well, I'm thinking to myself, do snakes have necks? You know, I've never figured that, but he's holding it by, just by the nap of the neck there. And he's playing with it. And all the kids in the neighborhood are coming over. And you know, the, the, the opens the mouth up and the fangs are there, you know, and the, some venom drops out. And he'll hold it at someone here, you know, ah, something like that. And, and, and you know, it's so much fun. And he's playing with it for 10 or 15 minutes. He'd handled snakes before. He knew what he was doing. Someone calls his name. Hey, Mike. And he turns. And ever so slightly, he's distracted and he loses the grip. And it comes down and bites him in his pinky finger. You know, he had a reaction to the anti-venom serum. He was taking medicines. He had health problems for years. Something about what he was taking made his bones more brittle. And you know, he, had a, he got hurt often. He was, he's not only a great player, he's a great young man, one of my favorite kids. But he got hurt all the time, and it all is traced back to this. And you know, I'm 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 listening to this whole thing, and I'm I'm just I'm I'm speechless. And I finally say, Wait a minute, wait a minute, Mike. Let me see if I got this right. You walked out in your garage. Yeah. You saw a snake. Yeah. It was a rattlesnake. Well, yeah. You picked it up. Well, yeah. You. Played with it? You played with a rattlesnake? Well, yeah, you know, I'd done it before. I'd handled snakes. It was no problem. It bit you. Yeah. I said, Mike, how did you think this was going to turn out? How, I mean, how could it have turned out anyway, but eventually you get bit? It's a rattlesnake. That's what rattlesnakes do. They bite people. And, and I just don't understand this whole thing. And he's like, well, I'd handled snakes before. You see, there's a right and there's a wrong. We want to make everything in the middle. We want to have situational ethics, situational opportunity. You know, if you make a profit and don't get caught, it's okay. Don't you see this in the news all the time? People are really sad that they got caught, but they've been involved in something that was not right. You try to tell me, this is what I told these graduate MBA students, you try to tell me that this subprime mortgage problem, this, this horrific financial uh, economic distress we're in, you try to tell me in the subprime market, mortgage business that people didn't know that sooner or later someone was going to get bit, but it's okay because I'm in my profit taking. You look at Enron, 
You try to tell me as a businessman that someone at Enron didn't know that cooking the books was wrong? There is a right and a wrong. And I think, I tell the boys, you know, this is a story I tell the boys every year, that you look at the problems that you have, your favorite temptation, if you will, and you know exactly what it is when you pick it up, when you get involved, but you don't think you're gonna get bit, you don't think you're gonna get caught, it's situational. Well, it's not situational. There's moral ethics, there's ethical values that are right and wrong.